couldn't possibly get more ironical than this. Could there ever be a greater conflict of interest? Even as Assistant Police Inspector Sachin Suryavanshi deposed before the Maharashtra Assembly panel earlier today, the MLAs who have been entrusted with the task of judging the actions of the cop and their colleagues who assaulted him have a history themselves of using force against officials. Two of the seven Maharashtra MLAs who are probing the assault on a cop in the assembly have themselves faced cases of using criminal force against a public servant. R.M. Vani of the Shiv Sena has five cases lodged against him under Section 353 of the Indian Penal Code, which deals with use of force against an official discharging his duty. Another member of the committee, Nawab Malik of the NCP, has three criminal cases against him, again for threatening officials. The committee formed under the leadership of Ganpatana Deshmukh is the committee will only have a rethink or thorough uh, findings on the dismissal of the five MLAs. Both these five MLAs need to be dismissed or only two or only three or only four or seven or eight. So can these MLAs who've been accused of using muscle power on government officials be expected to fairly judge and take action against their colleagues who've been accused of pretty much the same offence? Can Sachin Suryavanshi even hope for a fair trial? Well, let's take a closer look at the MLAs now. I'm going to hand you over again to Padmaja who's going to take you through who these MLAs are and why this is such an inappropriate assembly panel. Well, very quickly, let's uh, bring you face to face with two of the MLAs who are on this probe panel. First, let's talk about Arivani. He's a Shiv Sena MLA. He's got not one, two or three, but whole five cases lodged against him under Section 353 of the Indian Penal Code, which basically deals with the use of force against an official stopping him from discharging his duty. His colleague on this inquiry panel is the NCP MLA, Nawab Malik. He has three criminal cases registered against him and this time also for threatening officials. No surprises, both these MLAs say that these are only false cases that are politically motivated and are foisted on them for no reason at all. So out of a seven member panel, two members have criminal cases against them and it's no coincidence that it's pretty much precisely for the sort of allegations that the other MLAs uh, are facing at this point of time pertaining to the Sachin Suryavanshi case. Well, a day before he deposed before the Maharashtra Assembly panel, Assistant Police Inspector Suryavanshi spoke out for the first time since his brutal assault, expressing regret that he was unarmed while giving his statement in the Maharashtra Assembly on that fateful day on the 19th of March. Suryavanshi claimed that the MLAs dared not have touched him if he was carrying a weapon like a serving police officer and not a traffic cop. Defiant Sachin Suryavanshi added that he will be able to identify each and every one of the assailants if they were paraded before him. Padmaja is now going to take you through what happened on the 19th of March as we know it now. All right, let's take you, give you a blow-by-blow -blow account of exactly what happened. Remember the 18th of March when a speeding ticket was given by Assistant Inspector Sachin Surya Vanshi to Shitich Thakur, the Maharashtra Vikas Aghadi MLA. The day after, he was in the Vidhan Bhavan to give his statement. And remember, this is what Surya Vanshi himself has said. Now, Surya Vanshi reached the Vidhan Bhavan to give his statement uh, at around 11.30 in the morning. Soon after, he was sitting outside when he heard cries. Uh, and he heard some people shouting, look, that is Sachin Suryavanshi. He's the one who picked a fight with some MLA. Suryavanshi had a discussion with the deputy speaker, uh, Vasant Davkare and MLA Shitaj Thakur just before the actual attack took place. Uh, after that, he was sitting outside. He heard cries of MNS MLA Ram Kadam. This man in Marathi, he was yelling, look, that Sachin Suryavanshi get hold of him very soon and things just went downhill from there at around half past 11. Ram Kadam practically collared Sachin Suryavanshi and he said, so you want to pick a fight with MLA? I'm going to kill you now and according to Sachin Suryavanshi's statement proceeded to smack him in the face. Ram Kadam wasn't alone in this assault. There were other MLAs also who punched Suryavanshi and assaulted him. Some, uh, some people say there were as many as 12 MLAs. So far, not all of them have even been identified. That 
in essence was the entire assault as it took place there were a lot of people standing by and watched most of them members of the legislative assembly no one moved a finger to stop the assault on the serving assistant inspector